Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back after a much needed. You know what? The Great One is back. He had a little bit of a hiatus, a little over a month or so. You know, there was some speculation out there where Mark Spector Comics was, but I can assure you, he's been here all along. I heard it in the whispers. Mark Spector, Mark Spector. When's his next video going to come out? Well, you know what? I'm back. And I'm back with a mystery pack. Gonna ease into this slowly. So if you're interested in seeing what's in this mystery pack, stay tuned for that. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. You know, it just, it was kind of like that spur of the moment. You know, you start playing with the intros and then all of a sudden you just switch it up and do something fun. Hey, it almost felt like uh, one of those 90s wrestling promo intros. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was fun. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's been a little bit since my last video. Um, I still, you know, I've still been watching videos. I've still been uh, trying to keep active. Um and hunting and stuff like that, but there really isn't too much out here in um, western parts of uh, Virginia to do comic book hunting, you know, so I've been buying a little bit here and there online. Um, I did go to the comic shop in town. Uh, this was probably, what, a week or so ago. I just haven't had the opportunity to record it. I've uh, been real busy from the work front, um, trying to find my next placement and so forth. I'm wrapping at the end of my current contract now, so... Um, you know, I have a little bit of time to do some recordings. So, like I said, I'm going to ease into it. I do have a bunch of packages right there, ready to go, ready to record. Um, so, we'll start with this first one. I think this will be a fun one because it's a mystery pack. I know you guys in the community love to see your mystery boxes, your mystery packages. Well, what the hell about these packages? I got a grab bag right here myself. You know, number not, not just any grab bag but a uh, number one grab bag so uh, what's cool about this i went to the uh hello comic shop this was down in the pedestrian mall in charlottesville they do um five comics for three dollars i know i like to see you guys opening up your marvel and dc mystery packs you know four comic books for seven dollars five comics for ten dollars this is five comic books number ones all good indie reads probably, for $3 for the cost of a new comic book. Actually, less than a cost of that. Even with taxes, it came out to, like, I think, three fifty. dollars you can't, you can't buy a comic book for three fifty dollars right off the shelf. Are you kidding me? So um, what it says on here, uh, and they had a bunch on the spinner rack. I just grabbed these because, um, you know, it had fantasy, science fiction, and horror. My three favorite genres and comic books. Um, and what it says in the, uh, the sticker, number one grab bag. First issue of five awesome different series. Find a new series you love. Rated teen, teen plus, and mature. May not be appropriate for kids. There you go. So, may not be appropriate for the kids. But it's appropriate for this channel. All right. And uh, since we're easing it back in here, let's ease into a beer so we're going to be opening up an atomic pumpkin you know september going into the fall the best time of the year is the seasonal oktoberfest and pumpkin ales so um i found this at the um grocery store the other day i went to a wegmans stocked up on a little bit of beer and got an atomic pumpkin yep it's a spicy release um New Belgium by Voodoo, Voodoo Ranger, great, great uh, brewery. I forget where they're from. Um, actually, let's just look at the label. It should tell me. Asheville, North Carolina. If you've never been to Asheville, great brewery scene down there as well. So let's open this up. I have had this beer before, and I look forward to getting this beer every year when it does come out. Sometimes I can't find it, but it's a great beer. It has a spiciness to it. And you get good pumpkin flavor. Well, there you go. And you just can't go wrong with that. That is some cool label right there. Oh, 
that's good. And it has a kick. Well, almost like a jalapeno kick or something. Right at the end, it's a pepper kick. So let's open this pack up. If you haven't watched my channel before, I do comic books and beer. And in no particular order. <laughs> um, so you're going to start, obviously, with the cover on the front. I have read this book. Great cover. This cover is done by one of my favorite current modern artists, and this is Raza. One day I got to meet him. Really great artist. Um, so I have read this series. I have not read the whole series. It's um, a six-issue miniseries. Maybe I should. I should get to it, you know. And maybe with this, um, now that I got this book again, I have one in the PC um, that I should probably finish it. But uh, if you're not familiar with The Resistance, it's a six-issue uh, miniseries uh, by Upshop, fairly new publisher. Uh, came out, what, in 2020? Yeah. Basically, the universe, um, a global pandemic kills hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions, a lot of people, but uh, leaves some of the uh, survivors with extraordinary powers. So basically that in a nutshell, we have read certain titles like that had some, you know, semblance of that storyline before. Um, but it's a, it's a, you know, great, great read. I read the first three issues, I believe, um, written by uh, J. Michael Straczynski, got Mike, Di Mike Diodato Jr. artwork, Frank Martin artwork, I believe as well. And uh, this cover, like I said, great cover by Raza. So highly recommend that one. I have read it. Not the whole series, but I can definitely recommend that one. All right, next book. Oh, I have heard of this title, but I have not read it. And um, so this is, let me pull this up real quick. There we go. The Scorched. So this is um, The Scorched. This is by Image. Oh, wow, you can't go... This is a $5.99 cover price? Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's crazy. And uh, I am not familiar with this um, character at all. Um, but it, it, it's giving me like the Spawn, the Spawn Universe vibes. Um, and the cover, as you can see on there, by Todd McFarlane. This is the uh, cover D, as it says on the barcode. Um, don't know too much about this series. Um... So written by, so script by Sean Lewis and Todd McFarlane, art by Steven Segovia, Segovia and Paulo Cicada. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, creative team on here and different cover artists. You know, your typical Spawn cover artists, uh, McFarlane, Capullo, Mark Silvestri, and you got some also Mark, um, uh, Ryan Stegman. So different cover art. So this is cover D. So they probably made a bunch of these covers. Um, well, let me see if I can pull something quickly on what this uh, what this title is about because I've seen it before in LCSs, but I am not I am not familiar. So let me see. Scorched. Um, <clears throat> oh, so I was right. So it is Spawn Scorched. Okay. So premiere issue of a team book that includes Spawn Redeemer, Gunslinger, Medieval Spawn, and She Spawn. Cool. All right. So I'll take a stab at that and see how that goes. All right. So book number three. Like I said, this is five books. Ooh, I have read this one before. All right. So this one is House of Slaughter number one. Look at that. Foily Madness. Um, if you've never read Something is Killing the Children, you're definitely missing out. This is obviously a spinoff from that series, and it talks about the specific house of Erica Slaughter, um, which, you know, as it's called, House of Slaughter. Um, there was a lot of hype going into this book initially because of the great success of Something is Killing the Children. Um, if you're not familiar, it is written by James Tinian IV, one of my favorite horror writers out there in the market right now. Um, it's a big creative team. Um, says, yeah, as you can see from the pages of something is killing the children. Um, this one, I didn't find, I read maybe like the first four or five issues. I wasn't as big of a fan. Maybe I just wasn't as drawn into the specific houses, um, versus the main storyline. But definitely if you, uh, if you've read something is killing the children and have not read house of slaughter, I would definitely recommend it. 
just to see the continuation of the different houses. But yeah, great, great, great book. All right, number four. Here we go. Another tying into the spawn, King Spawn, issue number one. Another series I did not read, um, but I will read this number one. So this is uh, King Spawn number one. This was also a five ninety nine cover price. Look at that. Uh, I believe this was heavily produced. Um, I forget when this came out. This is this is. I know this is fairly fairly recent. Um, well, let me just take a quick look. I want to say it came out in twenty twenty two or twenty one. Uh, 21, August of 21. So, a uh, premiere issued the first ongoing Spawn title in 30 years. Okay, cool. So, this one also had a ton of covers, um, at least 10. This is cover cover E, done by um, Greg Capullo. Love his artwork in Spawn and DC and many other things. Um, just a great, great uh, artist. Um, so it's just another continuation, not much more, more than that. Um, the artwork is going to be great inside, as you can see. It's going to be some great artwork. Um, but yeah, so if you like the Spawn, you'll likely like reading King Spawn. And then the last book, something different. Oh, I have read this before. This is, this is a fun story. This is definitely more into the, um, the because uh, we got fantasy, science fiction, and horror. This is more into the fantasy, and this is I was I was surprised to see an IDW on here, but this is um, Bermuda. Bermuda. This was a series that came out in July of 2021. Um, trying to think what this what this was about, but um, more uh, I, you know the artwork was pretty good. I think I also read maybe the first. Four issues, um, written and lettered by John Layman. Artwork by Nick Bradshaw. I like Nick Bradshaw's work, and a colorist Leno Grady. Um, you don't often see too many titles from IDW with decent storylines. This I thought was pretty good. Um, artwork in there, at least in the first few issues, was, was solid. Um, I on, I don't remember what the story was about. It has nothing to do with the island of Bermuda. I can tell you that whatsoever. <laughs> I do remember that because I remember when I saw the title, I was like, does this have to do with Bermuda? And it was like like a Bermuda Triangle or something like that. And it doesn't. But look at look at this uh, look at this spread right here. This is pretty cool. Look at that artwork. My son would like that because that looks like a almost looks like a dragon or a gecko or something. I don't know. Really cool. So uh, that's it. That was the uh, five books. I thought that's a home run. You can't, you know, like two of the books are five ninety nine cover prices. The Resistance is a great read. Um, House of Slaughter, and eh, not so much, but definitely recommend it if you haven't read it, read it before. Um, but yeah, five books, three dollars. You can't go wrong with that. It beats any Marvel or DC, you know, seven or whatever pack there is that I see all these times on the YouTube's. But that's it for this time. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments down below. Have you read any of those books? I'm sure if you're reading some of the current books out there, you've probably read at least one of these books. Uh, let me know if you've read Bermuda. Probably going to be the one book that I think that the least amount of people are going to have you know, heard of or read. But just you know, write down in the comments below, down below. I like to respond to the comments. I try to respond to every comment I see. And... Um, yeah, I'm back. So uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out. Oh, and I forgot to let you know about the value of the mystery package, because I know some guys like to know about the value. So uh, let's drop that info right there for you.